All right, welcome back to the Maps Rainmaker series. In this video, we're gonna be talking about linking. Now, linking is very important, and there's many different ways to skin a cat. I'm gonna talk about all of them here and the different you know, methods and approaches you can take, and you'll get a lot out of this. So, there's really three different link types that I like to do to start a website. The first one is called kind of guest posting, or outreach, it's called. And the service we use for that is right here, qualityguestposts.com. Uh, this is run by Costa, who's been with us for a long time. He's the best out there. He's the best there is. And he does an awesome job. Okay, and I'll cover all that in, in just a little bit. The second type of link we do is called a citation. And I'll talk more about this when we get there. And there's also many different services you can use. We'll go into this in just a little bit. The third different type of link to, I like to do to start a website is called a social link. And the, what we use for this is called Social Viper. Uh, ran by Viper SEO or Khaled, who's also been with us for a long time. He's the absolute best at first socials, okay? So, number one, let's talk about each of these link types and, you know, so which one do you start with? Do you do all three at once? How long do you wait in between? These are all common questions I'll get when I have students that are just starting and they're, you know, they, they want to make sure they do it right. The big thing you understand is, you have to understand is there's, there's no exact right way to do it. Okay, so you can come out and do socials right away, and you'll be totally fine. You can come out and do a guest post right away, you'll be totally fine. You can come out and do citations right away, you'll be totally fine. You can do these two together at the same time, and then wait to do this, you'll be fine. You can do this and this together, and then wait to do your socials, you'll be fine. You can do all three at the same time, and you'll be totally fine. There's no right way to do this, okay? And I, I just, I'm pointing this out because it's a question I often get, and it's, it's something that holds people back where they, and they, it causes that anxiety and worrying that they're doing something wrong. If you're doing these three link types, it doesn't matter if you do all three at once, doesn't matter if you do two, doesn't matter if you do one, doesn't matter if you, you know, do one at a time and wait a certain amount of time in between, that time length doesn't matter. There's no right way to do it, okay? So let me go on the two different spectrums here. The advantages to doing all three at once or all three very quickly is you have a higher chance of ranking where you want to be quicker. Okay, the downside is you spend more money. The upside to doing one at a time is you could possibly still rank where you want to be but spend less money. The downside is if you do one and then you wait and then you're not where you want to be, then you do another one, it's going to take you longer, potentially take you longer to rank where you could have ranked a lot quicker if you did all three at once. So. There's no right way to do it. It's more a matter of balancing budget and speed. It's just a balance between those two. Now, advice I can give you is if you're someone who has a really high budget, just do all three at once. Almost all the time, just do all three at once. If it's a higher client, if it's a higher paying client or it's more competitive, you know, it's a bigger city, bigger niche, do all three at once, okay? If you're someone with a lower budget or it's a really kind of like a really small town or, you know, small town, small niche, you can maybe try one at, one at a time and, and you have a higher chance of, you know, ranking where you want to be with just one of these services. That's kind of my best advice for that. Other than that, there's no, it's really going to be situational. It's going to be different for each person uh, based on the situation they're in as far as budget goes, competition. You know, there, there's many different factors that go into this. The big thing you need to know is there's no right way to do it. Okay. As long as you stick with these three to start, you're going to be fine. All right. With that said, if I'm just doing one service at a time, the one I do like to start with first is citations. Just me personally. Again, you can start with the other two first and you'll be fine. But personally, if it's a local site, you know, a local site means it's a you know location business. If it's that situation, I like to do citations first because that's what helps us move in the maps listings the best. Okay. All three of these help us rank organically better, but citations really is what has the most effect on the maps. So I think that's the best place to start if you're just doing one linking place to start. All right. What I mean by the maps is, so let's go to like Philadelphia uh, Plumber. So these are ads here. These are the maps listings. Okay. This is where a lot of people click. Citations are what really helps you, not just organic, which is down here. So these are the organic listings that which come up, you know, like this. And this is the maps listings. All these links help you get in, in both places. 
but citations are what helps you get the most in maps and local, or, or, or sorry, and organic, all right? So that's why I like to start with citations first if, if I'm just using one of these, but a lot of times I'm really doing all three at once, to be honest with you. I have a higher budget, a lot of the sites I'm working with are higher competition, typically I'll do all three at the same time right away, okay? So let's go over citations first. Now, there's many different places you can get citations, I have here marketercenter.com. I'm listing these guys because they do a good job and they also have a very good price. So that's kind of who I'm going to use as an example for the citations just because of their prices and they do a really good job. Sometimes I'll use other services for citations. For example, Khaled service does citations, but he's more expensive. Okay. If you go to citations and we want to build citations, you know, he, he costs $99 for 50 Whereas Marketer Center costs like 40 bucks for like 40 of them. So it's a little difference in price there. But again, if it's a higher end client, I might use someone like Khaled or a service like Bright Local, who again is even more expensive than Khaled is because they just, you know, they, they're a little more systemized in, in how they do their citations. But Marketer Center works just fine. And for a lot of the times, I'm using just something like Marketer Center. Okay? Totally fine. Use them for all your projects. You'll be good. So let's go in, get, go ahead and order an example. Now I'm not gonna actually make the order in this video because I don't have my real address and real phone number yet, but when you place your order, you wanna put in your real address, your real phone number, real website, everything should be real. It should be what you verified with your GMB, which kind of Joe covered on how to set that up. It should all be your real information that matches what's in your GMB or your Google My Business, okay? So let's go ahead and, you know, you want to go to, once you're signed in, you're going to sign up for an account, totally free to sign up. You're going to want to deposit a little bit of money uh, to, to order your service. And then you click on order service on the drop down, click add client, which are, is where I'm at now, and then put in your website. Okay, that's where you're going to start. So our website is LandenbergSEOAgency.com. Okay. And typically what I like to do to make sure I'm getting the, the, the you know, URL correct I like going to the website, copying the URL, and putting that in because then I know it's the exact URL. I don't mistype anything. That's how I like to do it. Right. Business name, my business is called Landenberg SEO Agency. That's the name of my business. My phone number, so I'm going to make this up. Uh, 610, oops, uh, let's say 345 3443. All right. And I just made that up. Again, you're going to be using a real business phone number. When I do my citations, I'm going to use my real business phone number, okay? Be, just, I just want you to be aware of that I just don't have it yet because we st I, I'm having a friend uh, verify the GMB at his, his address, and I'm going to set up a phone number. I just haven't set it up yet, but you're going to want to use your real information here, okay? This should be a working business phone number. Category, we're in the search engine optimization. Uh, obviously, if you're a plumber, you would put in plumber. If you're a roofer, you put in roofer. Just whatever category your business is in, you put that for the category. Address, again, I'm going to make this up, but you want to put in your real business address here. Whatever you're using for your GMB, your real verified address, that's what, wants it. That's what you want to put here exactly like you have it in your GMB. Let's maybe see 123 Dell Lane. That's going to be in Landenberg, obviously, because our website is, you know, we're trying to go for Landenberg. Uh, Landenberg PA 19350. Business description. So Landenberg SEO agency is is a search engine optimization company that helps businesses in and around the area get to the top of the search engines. And typically, you want to put you know maybe two to three sentences here. I'm just gonna do one just for the sake of time. Um, you can add your social links here. I wouldn't worry too much about that. So for the service, there's different types of citations that uh, Marketer Center offers. There is big citations, okay? And there, well, there's two I use. There's big citations, and there's also hyper-local citations. I personally like to start with the big citations because those are like the bigger websites. Um, so what I like to do is usually do the big citations. And again, you can do 40, you can do 80, you can do 150. Which of these you pick doesn't matter, okay? It, it's all based on your budget, how quick you wanna rank. The more you do, the quicker you can rank, okay? 
In my case, Landenberg is a smaller town. This is going to be an easier type website, so I'm just going to do 40. And for those of you who are even in tougher niches and you have a smaller or, or bigger cities and you have a smaller budget, you can start with 40 and then you can come down the line later and do you know 80 more. So you can do it however you want there. All right, but I'm just going to do 40. Um, just click no for this. You don't got to do this. You can say no thanks for this. And I'm sorry, so you don't even need to do the 40. Those are additional. So let's say no thanks. Oh, these are hyper local. I'm sorry. I thought these were additional. So we're doing big citations. We don't, so we don't have to do anything else. The big citations are just thirty dollars. Okay. If you want to add hyper local, you could do it all here. I'm not going to do the hyper local for this because this is an easier kind of location. If this is a big location like Philadelphia, and I was going after like a lawyer or something, I'm doing 150 additional. Okay. I'm going to go max because I have a higher budget. Likely a client's paying me more, so I'm going to do a lot more. For this particular one, I'm not even going to do local. What I'm going to do is the big citation. It's only going to cost me 30 bucks. Actually, it's going to cost a little less because I'm going to give you a coupon code. It's going to cost 30 bucks. We can place the order, and then if you know two, three months down the line, we're not, or maybe even six months down the line, if we're not where we want to be, we can come back and we can order some hyper uh, local citations. Okay. For now, we're just going to start with the big citations. No thanks here. No, don't click any of this. Uh, no thanks here. Obviously, we're in USA. Uh, the coupon code, type in I love M Center. And it gives you about a 5% discount. Okay, so it's going to cost us $28.50. And then I'll click on Submit Order Now, and bam, your citations are done. Okay, again, when you place your order, make sure you have a real phone number, use your real business name, use your website name, use your real address, get a good business description in there, and then place your order. Okay. And again, if I place that order and I decide later on that I want to do hyper-local citations, I just come here, I click on order, go to hyper-local, um, and then of course you can choose either 40, 80, or 150. Right? So if I start, okay, I'm pretty close, maybe I rank number five after six months, that's still a little more citations, I'll try 40 more. Place your 40, you know, fill out all the information, submit, and then you know, there's 40 bucks. Right? So that's how you place an order of citations. For each service, it's going to be a little different. The big thing is making sure you get the business name right and use your real phone number, real address, um, put it in exactly like you have in your GMB, uh, and just make sure all that information is correct. That's the biggest thing you want to worry about. Okay. The next thing is a guest post or an outreach link. So you, you want to sign up for cloudyguestpost.com, and then you go to configure. I'm logged in here, so we go to configure. Now there's different packages here. For outreach, you don't want to do Diversifier 1 or 2. These are typically links we use for other type of stuff. You never really want to send these directly to a, a, a website you're trying to rank. We're going to use either Outreach Starter or Outreach Advanced. So which of these you used, again, goes back to the situational thing where I use different ones for different situations. Now again, if I was in a more competitive niche, maybe a lawyer, um, you know, someone paying me more money, I have a higher budget, I want a higher chance of, of ranking better, I'm going to probably do Outreach Advance. This costs $200, whereas this one costs $100. Little higher quality here, a little lower quality, but they're, they're both good quality. Okay, you're going to get good quality out of both. For this particular website, again, it's a smaller city. Um, I, there's not a ton of competition, so I don't really need Outreach Advance. I would probably go to Outreach Starter. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to do one article to start. And I recommend all you start with just one. Word count, I'm going to put it at 1,000. Uh, images, I'll go to three. There's no right thing to pick here, by, by the way. You, know, you can put your word count, whatever you want. You can do images, whatever you want. Um, additional authority links, I recommend anywhere between one to two to start. So we'll do just maybe one. Actually, let's do two, whatever. I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, so niche, you want to pick the proper niche here. And we are in online marketing, internet marketing, SEO advertising, you know, because we're an SEO website. Okay. So for your money keywords, anchor text, and URL, this is something that probably confuses a lot of beginners. What you want to put here, so basically the first thing you put in, so first, is going to be basically the text of the link onto your website, and then second is going to be the URL, okay, so the URL is going to. So whenever I'm starting a website, like doing my first links, I like the anchor text to first be like just the URL. So I could copy this 
and whoops, let's go back to here. And I would just paste this in, and that's my anchor text. And then for second, of course, you would just want to do where are the links going, which is the same spot, right? Sometimes instead of doing URL, and you could delete this if you want, whatever you want to do. So sometimes I'll just do this as well. So again, this would be the anchor text of the link you're getting. So let me let me show you an example, so you know what I mean here. So let's go to Yelp. They'll have some links on there. All right, so now if I click on here, this goes to show like this place is verified. Now this is a link. It's, it's a link going to a certain location. The anchor text is verified license because that's the clickable text, okay? That's the same thing as we're putting here. Whatever you put in this first box or this kind of first section is the clickable text. That's called anchor text, okay? So just be aware of that. Again, I like to start with something like, you know, LandenbergSEOAgency.com or the, the full URL like this right here or just the straight business name like Landenberg SEO Agency, something like that. That's what I like to start my anchor text with, one of those three options. Again, so again, you can do business name, you can do the full URL with or without the slash, or you can delete the HTTP and dub, 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 and just do like nameawebsite.com or .net.org, or whatever it is. Any of those options are totally fine, okay? It doesn't matter which one you choose, but I recommend one of those three for when you first start. Um, I will go with, uh, we already have this up, so I'll just go with that. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna actually place this order anyways today. All right, RSOS. So for here, what you wanna do is put RSOS and then a semicolon. And then what you put here is basically just, you wanna put something based around, you know, either Landenberg SEO or just search engine, or just SEO or search engine optimization or just Landenberg. For this particular case, I'm just gonna do the particular niche we're in and I'm gonna say search engine optimization. And this just makes sure that the article that is being written that we're gonna get the link from is gonna be very relevant. So it's gonna be about search engine optimization. So we're gonna have an article about search engine optimization pointing back to our website, which is also about search engine optimization, okay? And again, I could put search engine optimization here. I could have put SEO. Uh, I could put Landenberg SEO. Anything like that would be totally fine. Okay, I'll, I'll just leave this. Landenberg SEO would be fine. All right, so let's go down. So stats prioritization. What you put here again doesn't matter. Okay, you can you know you can kind of go here and here and you know play with these. You can leave them like they were. You can put this all the way up. You can put this all the way up. Whatever you want to do doesn't matter. They're all going to be pretty quality links. Okay, so what you put here doesn't matter. You can play with that. You'll be fine. Whatever you put there. Don't need to put anything here, then you just add it to the cart and you check out, that's how you get your link, all right? And that's how you're gonna be placing your orders for your guest posting. Now, when you get down the line, you're gonna, like, like further down the line, you need to do more of these, you're gonna be switching up your, your what we call RSOS and also your anchor text here. That's all kind of more advanced, don't worry about that right now, we teach that in other videos and the more advanced stuff later on, okay? All I want you to know is to start, you're going to be choosing one of those three anchor text options I told you about. Of course, it's going to be pointing to your homepage URL. And then for RSOS, you just choose something relevant to what your website's about. Whether if it's a plumber, you're going to do something about plumbing. Uh, if it's a Miami plumber, you can either do plumbing or you can do plumber. Or you can do Miami plumber, Miami plumbing. Something like that would we'll just go right here. Okay. And then for your anchor text, again, you choose name of website.com or the full URL or the name of the company which is Landenberg SEO Agency. All right, any of those three would be totally fine to start. And you just place yours. So that's how you do guest posting or outreach links from Kelleb. The last thing is social links, okay? And that this is where you're gonna be using Viper SEO. Now, I will say that Marketer Center also has social links. So you come here and it's called, they call it Social Foundations, okay? And you can see there, you know, you'd probably want to go with this option here. It's 30 bucks. I personally like using Khaled for my social signals. He does such a great job. I think he gets better results. A little more expensive. So again, for someone who's really tight on a budget, you can use Marketer Center. But for most of you, I do recommend Viper SEO for this because they, they do the best job out of anyone on the social signals. I always use them for my socials, uh, no matter what the site is, all right? So you just wanna come back to your dashboard and then you wanna click on core, it's, it's supposed to say plans here. Uh, click on core plans 
And then again, which of these you start with just depends on your budget, okay? I'm definitely starting with just this one right here, which is $119, just 100. Um, if it was a really competitive site, I'm gonna go with 300, right? Um, if it's medium competition, I'll probably go with 200 or 300. I'll go with one of those two. But I can always do, so I could do 100, right? I could do these 100, and then what I could do is come back to extended plans, and then I'm like, all right, you know, I already did the 100, I'm not where I want to be. Now I want to order 100 to 200, or now I want to order, you know, uh, 100 to 300, you know, or whatever the cases are right here, 200 to 300. Um, so you can always come back and order more later. For this type of website, again, it's very kind of small area, the lower competition. I would just start with the 100 guaranteed links. All right. So let's go to checkout. Oh crap! I have to. I have to check out to show you what to put in here. So let me, give me one second here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just show you a previous order I did, uh, cause I'm not gonna place that order just yet. But this is a, uh, you know, someone that I play pickleball with, they, they had a pickleball website, it wasn't ranking well. Uh, so I said, hey, I'll do, some, I'll do some linking for you. I think I did citations for them. I did one guest post, and then I did social signals. Uh, and as you can see, when you now type in Diamond State Pickleball Club, they're number one. Okay, they were not before, so you can see this type of stuff works. All right, but when you place your order, what you're going to see is basically boxes for all this stuff. Now this is already all filled out, obviously, um, but when you put in your information, you're going to see empty boxes here where you fill out this information. So uh, is it the same as previous order? No, it was not. I put on the name. I put in my real name here. Whatever. You can put in your real name, you can put in a, a fake name, whatever you want to do. If you're a real business, you probably just want to put in the, the name of the business owner. For the website URL, you want to put in the, the website. And in our case, we would put in, you know, LandenburgSEOAgency.com, like the full URL, which would be which would be this right here, of course, right? We'd be putting that into the to the URL field. Um, and then for the heading title. But usually I'll just put in the name of the business for that. So we'll put in Landenberg SEO Agency. Uh, for this one, I'll obviously put in Diamond State Pickleball Club. Uh, short description here. So for this, you just want to put in uh, just, you know, what the company is about, what you do. Kind of same thing you did for citations, same type of thing. Uh, for keywords. Now, there's different ways to do this. You can put in just one keyword, which is the name of the business. Or you can put in variations of the keyword. So sometimes if I have like a plumber site and the location of the, the plumbing site isn't in there. So if it was like gregsplumbing.com, what I might do sometime is put in, you know, Greg's plumbing here, but then for keyword two, I'll put in like Greg's plumbing Miami. That way I can also get the location in some of my keywords. So just an option you can do there or totally fine. You can just put in the business name for your keyword. All right. Don't worry too much about that. Excuse me. Business name. Again, you put in the business name here. You would want to put in the real address, real phone number here. I didn't do that for this one just because um, I, I, I didn't need it for, it was a rare case. But usually you want to put in your real address and real phone number here as well. You can upload a logo if you need to. I didn't, you don't have to. Uh, then you hit submit and you're good to go. And that's how you order your socials, all right? But you can see, like I said, it worked for these guys. It works for all everyone else I do it for. These work very well. All three of these links are great for different reasons. So. That's how you do each of these different type of links. Uh, hopefully that was a good explanation for you. Again, there's no exact right way to do it. There's no right order. There's no right time frame. It's just the, the whole balancing act between spending more and potentially ranking quicker and, and you know uh, not having to wait later down the road or spending less and possibly ranking you know slower or in the same spot for spending less. It's just a, it's a balancing act between the two and there's ups and downs to both. Okay. There's no right way to do it. So that's going to do it for the linking section of Maps Rainmaker. I'll talk to you all soon.